This last video discussing the unit on circles is going to focus primarily on area of circles and circumference of circles, but more to the point, I don't want the area of the entire circle, I want the area of just this piece. If we think of this as a pizza, I just want this slice of pizza, what's the area here? And then similarly, I don't want the entire circumference, the entire distance around, I want how much crust am I getting on this slice, not how much crust is there in the entire pizza. To find all of that information, we do need to know how to find the area of the whole thing or the circumference of the whole circle. So first and foremost, we need to remember that the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius of that circle squared, and that the circumference of that circle is equal to pi times the diameter, or in this case, I'll say pi times two radiuses. That's what a diameter is. Oftentimes you'll see that written more like 2 pi r, same thing. The first part of the problem is asking you the measure of arc js. When I see this lowercase m in front, it's saying the measure, now I'm talking degrees. Angle jgs is 80 degrees, it's a central angle because this is circle g, so I know the arc is also 80 degrees. So I should be able to get that from looking here. When I want the length of ArcJS, I'll ask for it. The length of ArcJS is not measured in degrees. And then the area of the sector, which is this shaded area here. The biggest component of all of this is going to be basically using proportions. I know that this angle is 80 degrees. And I know that the entire circle is 360 degrees. Okay, so this is what we'll call the part of the circle in my numerator. And then this is the whole circle. I'm going to be comparing that for the area and circumference as well. Since I know part of the circle is 80 degrees and the whole circle is 360, if I could calculate the area of the whole circle, I can set up a proportion to find the area of just this sector. If I can find the circumference of the whole circle, I can find the length of just js using a proportion. So let's go ahead and do that. I know that this is my area formula. I know my radius is 18. Plugging my radius into here, the area is going to be equal to pi times 18 squared. I want to leave pi in as part of my answer, so I know the area of the whole circle is equal to 324 times pi, whatever units we are squared. And then similarly, I could find the circumference of the whole circle by plugging in 2 pi times my radius, which is 18. 2 times 18 is 36, so I have my circumference of the whole circle is 36 pi. These aren't my answers. That's the entire circle. But, looking at what we've done up here, the part of the circle is 80, the whole circle is 360, I want part of the length of the whole thing. So I'm going to call that equal to arc js over my circumference. So the length of the arc compares to the circumference. I can set up this proportion and solve. The part is js, the whole is my circumference. Well, I know my circumference, we just calculated that it's 36 pi. I can now cross multiply and solve for arc j s. I know that 360 times the length of arc j s is equal to 80 times 36, that's 2880 pi, and when I divide both sides by 360, I get 8. So I know that arc js is not 8, it's 8 pi. If this was in inches, it would be inches. If this was in meters, this would be meters. I'll just call it units. Now, area, I'm going to wind up doing the same thing. I still have the part over the whole, and I now know that the whole circle is 324 pi units squared. That will go in my denominator. 
I don't know the area of the sector, so I'll just call it area of the sector, because this is the area of the circle, I can cross multiply. 360 times the area of that sector is going to be equal to 80 times 324, or 25,920 pi units. Divide both sides by 360, and I get the area of the sector to be equal to 72 pi. The pi is necessary, it's not an option. If it's not there, it's wrong. And these, this is area, so it would be units squared. Meters squared, inches squared, feet squared, whatever that may be. So, summary, this is all about proportions. It's about identifying the angle measure, your arc measure, and being able to set that up as a proportion to the whole circle, the part of the circle to the whole circle.